Hej, jeg er taget til Ebrofloden i Spanien for at fiske maler sammen med Tue Blaksekær og Thomas Raslaff fra Fiskefri. Og vi skal fiske med Pontus Ingvarsson, der er en af de allersejeste guides her ved floden. Han har været her i en hel del år efterhånden nu og har masser af praktisk erfaring. Så det bliver super fedt, og vi skal fiske både almindelig sessionfiskeri og lidt vertikal fiskeri også efter malerne. Så vi glæder os rigtig, rigtig meget. Goes over and spins around. Uh, look, yeah, and you yeah. do it like a couple of times. Pull it tight. Yeah. And that's the ideal distance. Yeah, like yeah. literally a centimeter or so. Yeah. Two or five? Two or five. Yeah. Okay. Put them back? Yep. Do you want to release them yourself? Yeah. With a picture? Do you want a glove right, or yeah, anything? Just let her go. Alright. That's all. It cost her. If you do, I'm gone. I'm originally from Sweden. I first time I fished in Spain was 2008. Uh, I came here on a holiday and uh, I liked it a lot. So the year after when I quit school, uh, when I graduated, I uh, made my way over here and helped out on another guiding company. And uh, since then I've, be, I've been here all ever since. So uh, it's nearly 15 years ago now since I started guiding here. During these years uh, of guiding, I've had minimum 15,000 plus catfish. We have some very big fish as well. The top weight is uh, the biggest one so far. The heaviest is 106 kilos and the longest fish I caught is 2 meter 56. Yeah, many, many catfish. The, the amount of 2 meter plus fish is, is well over 1000. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's a lot, a lot of fish. The, there's, there's so many good sessions. They're all good in their own way. Every week is very different. You meet different people uh, from different backgrounds. Some weeks you, you only get a few fish, but they're very big. Other weeks you get crazy amount of fish, but you're missing the top weights. And then you get some weeks where you're lucky and you manage to combine it when every, all the conditions are right. We had, uh, for example, during the pandemic, I had some crazy fishing because there weren't many people fishing like. I've had one of the best sessions I had is uh, with the old friend of yours, Niklas. We had, I think it was 170 something fish in, uh, in a very short, in a couple of days fishing. It was unbelievable. Så er vi på anden dagens fiskeri, og det gik jo meget godt i går. Thomas fik en på 59 kilo, og Tu han fik to karper, der var PR. Så, men vi aftaler, at karper, der er under 10 kilo, de tæller ikke i PR-regnskabet. Så det var nok meget godt. Og, så nu er vi igen herude i vores swim, og vi kører på tur med fiskene. Så det vil sige, at nu er det mig og Tu, der får de hug, der kommer. Vi har så tre stænger hver. Og når så en af os har fået en fisk, så er alle stængerne den sidste, og efter det, så kører vi på turnus med fiskene. Så det bliver spændende at, at se, hvad der sker, og Thomas, som jo fik fisk i går, han, så han har jo så lige pludselig skiftet rolle fra storfanger til kok, så han er ved at lave lækker øh, bacon øh, og æg og alt muligt, og vi har også super juice med desværre, så vi glemte kopperne, så det kan være, at det bliver i morgen, og i morgen, der har vi nok også kaffen, så vi arbejder os altså opad på en stejl stigende komfortkurve, 
Så øh, det skal nok blive fedt. Så lige nu der, der venter vi bare på, at klokkerne her ovenover ringer og håber på, at der kommer lidt gang i fiskeriet. Det har været en lille smule slow start. Catfish over der. Ja, big one. Mm, nice. So we're gonna do and take and uh, replace one of the rods and fresh up the bait. So what we're doing is we're trying to keep the swim active. So we got six rods fishing, and every half an hour or so we do one of the rods, and we like stagger them. So there's always new fresh bait going into the swim. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna take and reel this one in, which is number the second rod. It's a long way out, and. The river's been low for a long time, so there's a lot of bushes. So we need to reel in very, very fast to get the lead off the bottom. The current is very strong, so we're using nearly a kilo of lead. So it has to be a bit of power and quite fast. So you see, even though we tried to reel really, really fast, we still got stuck in a little bush, but The tackle is very strong, and it just pulls out. He was a god. Yeah, it's not much other than smart sauce, skyer, sun, and what skal I trykke vel eller fanden man ellers render rundt og fisker efter der hjemme. Så. Kom den sgu. Første mal for Ebro. Det var godt. Meter og 50 cirka. Super fin fisk. Ikke være den største, men bestemt bedre end ingenting. Vi har kæmpet lidt hårdt for det. Today is the third day. Uh, we're gonna try some new baits. We stick in a few worms on the, on the hook. Giving it a bit of a little extra boost. Hopefully that makes them feed. We've been, uh, we've been out scanning around over the spot with the Garmin fish finder. We see a lot of fish, but it's sitting slightly above the bottom, a few feet off it. So we're going to try to present the baits uh, a little bit higher up in the water. There's many ways to tie up a worm rig, but I prefer a single hook, quite a big light hook. This, in this case, a Black Cat Power Rig hook, size 7.0. And then we got a piece of uh, a knotless knot and a piece of silicon to um, protect the knot and keep it keep the hook straight in line with the float. Then we got two uh, small silicon stoppers. A little 10 gram U float that gives a bit of ripple in the current, and then another stopper, and then we got about a meter and a half of monofilament. And this is going to be popped off uh, off the bottom, then sitting about 90 centimeters to a meter off the bottom. Skide godt tun, den er flot. Kaffen König. Så kom der sgu en mal på, på lige over 40 kilo på land. Det var hårdt, og jeg har træt af ham i forvejen, men... Så er vi på fjerdagens fiskeri. Det har været en lidt træ start, en lidt meget træ start for at sige det lige ud. Men vi har fået fisk, både Thomas og Tue har fået maler, og den største var jo 59 kilo til Thomas, og det er jo sådan set en rigtig flot fisk. Så alt er godt. Lige på nær det lille arbejdervej, at øh, jeg har faktisk ikke fået noget endnu. Øh, det går på tur. Og lige nu, der har jeg alle stængerne, øhm, og faktisk så var der et ordentligt smæk i stangen lige før, fra noget, der mindede om en øh, stor malle, men der var intet i den anden ende, da jeg gjorde modhug, desværre. Så, men der er fisk ude på pladsen, og vi har jo også set masser af fisk på ekolodet, øh, faktisk øh, alle dagene. Så de er derude, og det kan være, at de simpelthen bare er lidt sløve, fordi øh, vandet stadigvæk er koldt efter den flot, der var for over en uge siden. Men det skal nok lykkes, så nu må vi se.
Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, don't, don't. It's just got around the other way there. Wait, 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 wait. We need to take it out in a second. That's it. Okay. But it just put me to work if you need it. You're right, you're right. Ah, the birds are magical. Det er ikke en skalle, det kan jeg godt afsløre. Juhu! Jeg står nok til, at man godt kan læne sig tilbage i hvert fald. So what did that say? It's just to about 215 long. Okay. Uh, 15 cm, så er vi i dag ved at redde. Nu går turen videre. Sådan, så lykkes det. The catfishing is good all year round. It's it's more what you want what you're after. If you want a lot of action or if you want big fish or if you want a combination. It's it's possible to catch catfish every day of the year. The most productive time is post spawn so we're talking like uh, around june time june july august then that's when you get the most amount of fish and they're feeding the heaviest because they just been finished spawning so they're very hungry uh, as soon as the water starts cooling down a little bit coming autumn time september october you tend to get slightly less action but the average size is getting bigger and then coming in november beginning december that's when the really big fish feeds. And then you're coming up January, February, March. It's gradually getting better and better and better. From the spring, uh, the catfish is waking up. Uh, the action gets better and better and they feed very heavily before spawning. Uh, and you got chance of some very, very big fish. Det er jo så mit livs længste fisk, 209 cm, og vi estimerer den til et sted mellem ja, omkring 55 kg plus minus. Pontus, du har fisket maler i masser af år og har masser af øvelse i at blande foder med pellets og så videre så videre. Fortæl os lidt om hvordan du gør det. Ja, yeah, we're gonna make a little mix up for the for the feed. So we're gonna mix a few different type of pellets. So we start with a very some pellets that are very high in oil. Yeah. And we put in a couple of kilo. And then we take a pellet that has a lot lower oil content and that would be our, our main base because the water is very cold at the moment. We're yeah. just about nine degrees, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So we don't want the oil because it blocks the... Exactly, they, they coagulate in the, in the cold. Yeah. So we fill that up about three quarters. Then we give it a good shake to mix them up. Like so. And then we've got some pellets that been soaked into water, yeah? So these ones are uh, a lot softer, they're on the way to break down, to give a more uh, slick in the water. Yeah. yeah, so you also get a more graduated... Uh, exactly, into the Dif different, into the water. different break time ti breakdown times to give a more active mix in the swim. Yeah. That's, the, that's the key thing, like. Yeah. And then we're gonna add a little secret ingredient. Which, which you is don't tell anybody about. <laughs> but it's a scoop of powder, yeah? yeah. And then we're gonna give this a good shake. A little bit overfilled, but it's not an issue. So now when you look at this, we got pellets 
from all different break down times, different yeah. oil content, and it makes a very active feed in yeah. the swim. Did you see him drinking a sip of coffee while fighting? No. Oh, he did. I've been pulling like crazy. Is it a big fish? Good five head fish, but short fish. He's not two meters, is he? So, try and lift him up. But over your head, over your head. Uh, give me some. Uh... <laughs> Here, use these to scrub off, yeah? <laughs> Thanks, Robert. Jesus. What the hell did you do before? Do I so? En malle på et par 50 kilo, og før fik vi en, jeg fik, fik en på nok lige over 40 kilo. Så er det 100 kilo malle på 20-25 minutter. Så nu skal dine arme have en pause? Nu skal armene have en pause. De er meget brugte. De er faktisk er brugte, så jeg overvejer, om jeg overhovedet gider at tørre malleslim med min fine simsøjde også. All right, I'm going to explain to you what gear we're using. Um, the catfish is, is a very big fish. It can reach up to over 100 kilos and two and a half meter in length. And as this is a dammed water, like a dammed reservoir, there's a lot of snags on the bottom, etc. So you need strong, strong tackle. We're using 10 foot rods with a casting weight up to about 500 grams. We're using a big fixed ball reel with um, around 20 kilo of drag. And uh, the line, the main line we're using is 0.66 millimeter braid. And, and that's how, how many kilos? Uh, just over 80 kilo braid. Uh, yeah. And then we got a snag leader that always has to be deeper than the depth. So if you're fishing 10 meters, you need 12 meters of leader. So you can always get hold of it from the boat uh, if something gets stuck or whatever. Uh, uh. Uh, and the, the leader is uh, just over one millimeter and uh, 110 kilos. And uh, that comes down to a heavy lead. At the moment, it's nearly a kilo, so it's 900 something grams. We're using a, a black cat, cat buster, which is a very proven blank, very progressive action. Yeah. Uh, it's very important for cat fishing, for static fishing, that the rods are very soft in the tip, so you can tight up the line against the lead. If it's yeah. too stiff, you will always drag the lead and you get bad bite indication. And then a lot, a lot of power in the, in the butt. Okay, so this is the lead arrangement. Uh, we're using a lead. Uh, this one I think is 900 grams and it's free running, yeah? So we get very good indication in the rod tip uh, when the fish is picking up the bait because they can be very finicky feeders sometimes. And then there's a bead as a shock absorber to not uh, hurt the knot. And then we've got a strong swivel, about 250 kilos. And then it comes down to um, a semi-coated hook link. So the first part is coated down to the piece of uh, putty. And then after that piece of putty, it's all soft hook link. And then we've got another two pieces of putty. And the last piece, we've got a 4-0 hook with a little hair rig on it. So I lead my own. I'm in lead with my Pringles chips. Men det er okay, den skal være tilgivet. Så var der igen. Der har sgu været rimelig meget action i dag. På, både på pellets og ude i båden. Vertikalt. Nå, der sker ikke så meget inde i kampen, så nu er Maja Pontus lige taget ud for at prøve at vertikalfiske nogle af de her store maler, man kan se på, øh, 
skærmen her, og de er dernede, som du kan se. Det er bare med, at nu får jeg, får jeg tjekken ned lige over en. Den står lige over bunden. Skide godt! Wow. Jeg ryger meget godt. Yeah, if you can. That's it, that's it. Fuck. Ah, den trækker meget godt. Så har vi fisk på igen. Man skal ikke, at det er noget, der virker. Det er de andre side, andre side. Well done, lads. Thank you. Hey, <laughs> Musla. Nå, men øh, det var den tur. Vi har været ved Ebrofoden i en uge tid sammen med Pontus, og det har bare været altid en fede tur. Den med, vi fik 24 maler op til 81 kilo til Thomas den største. Og ja, vi har bare haft en super fed tur. Det har været mega hyggeligt. Vi har lært en masse, og vi glæder os til, at vi kommer igen. Vi ses!